Oh, so you've undertaken the task of planning a project and you're also a bit of a perfectionist. You saw the title of the video and thought this would be helpful? Well, you're absolutely correct. I'm here to guide and help you pick out those key elements that make planning a project successful. I'm Jaden and I hope you're ready to take down some notes. But pause. Before we get started with this video, do hit that red subscribe button down there and turn on the notification bell for a similar set of fun and helpful and educational videos. Project planning can be called the heart of a project life cycle. Just like a pilot flies a plane before embarking on a journey, a good project manager is responsible for writing down a detailed project plan. A good project plan is one of the most essential elements of success in project management, from preventing scope creep, overblown budgets and missed deadlines to minimizing stress and frustration. An ounce of prevention in project planning is worth a pound of cure. Unfortunately, the lack of project planning is one of the main reasons behind some projects failing to be completed and delivered successfully. Undertaking a project is akin to participating in a war. If you do not have the strategy and ammunition, you are likely to face defeat. A little digression, if you're interested in learning more about project management, there's a really helpful book recommendation for you in the description of this video. Now back to the video. If you've been listening attentively to what I was saying, then I'm sure you're now wondering what is a project plan? A project plan is a series of formal documents that define the execution and control stages of a project. The plan includes considerations for risk management, resource management and communications while also addressing scope, cost and schedule baselines. Project planning software is used by project managers to ensure that their plans are thorough and robust. There are essential elements you must include to create a good project plan. Keep in mind that creating and working with a flawed project plan is just as bad as working without one. Timeline, costs and deliverables should be detailed clearly to show the scope of your project. In the 10 sections that I'm going to mention, you'll find 10 essential elements of a project plan you shouldn't overlook. 1. Outline of business justification and stakeholder needs. Before starting your project, it is essential to align the project's goals and needs with your team and organization. How important is this project to the organizational objectives? How does it tie in with the goals for the year or quarter? And what do the involved stakeholders expect? 2. List of requirements and project objectives. As a project manager, you should analyze the needs of all parties involved in the project and determine the requirements to achieve them. What objectives must the project achieve to be successful? What features and capabilities should the deliverables have? As the project progresses, there may be a need to correct some aspects of your plan and that's okay. 3. Project Scope Statement In the Project Scope Statement, the project manager finalizes and records all project details to get everyone involved on the same page. This statement describes the project and its steps and requirements. It is usually the reference to get agreement and buy-in from external stakeholders involved in the project. 4. List of deliverables and estimate due dates. From the preparation of the project scope statement, you should now have a clearer idea of the deliverables and the outcomes to be delivered to complete this project. From there, you should list out what tasks and deliverables each member is expected to produce and when. 5. Detailed project schedule. In a project schedule, you will estimate how long it will take to complete each task while leaving enough room for slack and dependencies. It is a clear calendarization of all required tasks and timelines. It shows the project's duration, who is doing what, and when each task begins and ends. 6. Risk assessment and management plan. Risks are inevitable, which is why the best project plans include elaborate risk management sections. If you can identify risks earlier in a project, you can control them and increase your chances of success. 
7. Define roles and responsibilities. Clarify the responsibilities of each person on the project team, including the external stakeholders. Various tasks may include reviews and approvals from specific stakeholders, though typically many of the project key stakeholders are not involved in all the aspects of the project. 8. Resource allocation. When it comes to resource allocation in project planning, you break down the allo and allocate your team's time, materials and budget. You should identify all available resources and resources for each task if known. Estimate their cost and contributions. Consider resource constraints, how much time each resource can realistically devote to the, this project and determine the best combinations or variations of the resources available to achieve the project's goals in good time and with the best possible results. 9. Quality Assurance QA Plan The emphasis here is on preventing errors. Rather than inspecting the final deliverable at the end of the project, creating the QA plan involves setting the project standards, acceptance criteria and metrics that will be used throughout the project. This becomes the foundation for all quality reviews and inspections performed during the project. 10. Communication plan a communication plan outlines how often you speak with and update external stakeholders, project owners and even your team members. It also details the kind of updates they expect, which decisions need reviews and approval and who's responsible for each action. Your communication plan must answer who receives the reports and who prepares the, and delivers these reports who can go as far as to include the format in which the reports are created and shared. A communication plan also clarifies which issues should be escalated where project information is stored and who can access it. This plan documents every aspect of the project team's communication methods throughout the project. This includes routine status updates, problems resolutions, mitigation, etc. So that makes 10. Were any of my tips helpful? Do let me know in the comments down below. If you keep an eye out for the 10 factors that I mentioned and pay close attention to them, then I'm sure that planning a project will be much easier for you. All the best with whatever task you have at hand. And for more amazingly helpful videos like this, do check out our channel and hit that red subscribe button. Hope this video was helpful and until next time.